I'm Mel, I'm the son of a carpenter, my dad a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, mom Marianne, I'm the son of a carpenter, Mary. I get to make parables, and this is going to have to be, it does combine, you know, one with the other, my Tommy parable, because I, I, more than ever today, because I had to spend the morning undoing CBS's fraudulent practices with their prescriptions. Shortchanged me like a hundred of my gabapentin for my pain. And uh, I had to go up there to get the rest. And since this is, uh, once again, I'm surprised they didn't have a uh, California law enforcement helicopter buzzing me as I'm going up there to say who was responsible. Like they had when my heater didn't get here for a very cold Christmas. And then when the, the, the postman, it reminds me, oh, my demon sister was here to be arrogant as hell. And tell me he wasn't going to do his job of delivering packages. When that happened, they had a, a nice black and white helicopter buzzing right over the man. Check and post in five, write down every member of law enforcement's number, California law enforcement. Called them up, good cops across America, all good citizens of America. What do you know about John Melton Brady asking for Flight 93 checks for nine years in your state and not getting one? You have the ability to check phone records. Do you not understand the organized nature of such crime when you're unable to reach me and don't know when else your phone won't be allowed to work. Get their reaction. If Ask him, are you involved? Are you incompetent? If you want to pass the buck to the Fed, well, damn, you can have a press conference. We, we've got a lot of folks in our across the country asking about John Milton Bray. They can't reach him by phone. They want to know our active part in it, so we're having a press conference to say we're not part of that. They're not doing that. Instead, they're working with what I call the impersonator industries. They're buzzing uh, apartment complexes as post office does not do the job. That will jeopardize my health. Uh, something that I need from the post office that uh, was supposed to be delivered before Christmas, that Friday. Wasn't delivered till after Christmas. And the man uh, dipped it in oil before he delivered it. That heater, electric heater. Because T. Terrace here does not conducts harassment techniques with the Muslim African apartment down below and the new Vanilla, Vanaya, whichever her alias is today, refuses to do anything about that. I just called up Alicia, I'm not sure her last name, and left a message uh, about the hatred noise coming from down below. And not being able to pay your rent check before, pay your rent before the first of the month. When uh, they just put a, a flyer on the door saying you have to pay your rent check on time. And you can't pay it before the first of the month. And they cater to handicapped individuals with the subsidized housing. They get a lot of money from me. They get a lot of money from Hack Club. I do not have filthy walkways out there that are filthier than L.A. Street sidewalks out there. put uh, all the names of uh, corrupt California law enforcement and oh to a man to a woman I haven't heard one of them from one of them even walk, uh, walking up to me on their day off and saying yeah that's great you're pointing out flight 93 checks with those flight 93 checks not being able to reach uh, who knows who else we can't reach who knows how many of our citizens can't reach us because of those hijacked lifelines you're pointing out no, not one. So all, to a man, to a woman. You hand out their phone numbers, they change their numbers, you get more, you get the new numbers, you're good cops across America, you're good citizens, smart citizens. Who can do that? Now, let me get my sugar check 
this started. As I talked to you about Tommy, the no-arm Chinese fellow, how'd he get to be missing both arms? He was brown nosing. They love brown nosers in the Orient, the Oriental unseen business of streets. Oh, you can call it whatever you want, but uh, my fiction leaves off where you pick up that phone and can't reach me. It's called fraud. It's called organized crime. But uh, Tommy was told by his boss, Wu, to stick his right arm into a wood chipper, so he did that. Tommy's always been blindly obedient. He's Chinese. Stuck that right arm in the wood chipper and the left arm saw what was going on and very wisely jumped off. 331. That's a smart thing to do if you are an arm or anything that can resemble an arm. Something bad happened if somebody's just like you at work, at school, in your neighborhood, in your family, jump off. Don't let it happen to you. So let me get to my Tommy parable. Tommy won his uh, girlfriend, Rhea. With that, his new look, you know, missing both arms. He does a mean snake dance. He's always been scaly. He's Chinese. And he likes to stick his tongue out a lot. So Tommy uh, snaked his way across the dance floor to uh, Rhea and won her heart. He's been there ever since. He also got a promotion at work. He's bossing a whole lot of folks around. The Chinese streets are backwards. You think sticking your arm in a wood chipper just because somebody told you to would mean you're stupid. No, uh, it got Tommy a promotion. But this starts out at home with Rhea and his girlfriend. She's living with him. And he says, why do they call it check and post in five? But Tommy is a... Uh, is in charge of the uh, Northern California Stone Cold Impersonators. Yeah, those impersonating one and only Stone Cold Melton. He's in charge of that, and as such, he's in charge of tearing down flyers about uh, about Flight 93 check stuff, which is what a big uh, five is. I need to get one with a Flight 93 check. I was going for brevity, so why it wasn't included. But he he asked Rhea, and Rhea tells him, well, it's a check and post and five, because it takes just five minutes for somebody to make a video with their phone of someone else's life on whoever's in that room there with you as you're watching this video. Make a video of their hijack life line, the family's hijack life line as you try to call me, 424-229-4140. Turn around, let them make a video of your hijack life line. It's gonna be boring, a phone ringing, error message, busy signal. You get to leave a message, I don't get it. You don't show up on my caller ID, the call log. Oh, look on youtube.com slash DNFD series, DNFD, S-E-R-I-E-S. I got my call log playlist there with a whole bunch of call logs. Uh, not one, nine, three, check, and nine years of asking. I made the last one uh, on Thanksgiving for the uh, past year and a half with this phone in my hand. My very sore arms here. Oh, why I'm switching arm to arm. I made it, and uh, yeah, you gotta replace the muscles, the bones, organs. So what's going on with the eyes? Uh, grow a new pair, gotta grow a new body to build Jesus' Michael's house here on earth, and it's very painful with the muscles. Why I'm in the wheelchair. But, um, uh, yeah, make that video, post that video, whatever you get when you don't get me. It's not gonna be boring if you're in a fire need the police paramedics you and your family so make the video now of your hijack call to me and explain that it's not going to be boring these firemen 
and I'm getting this this thing here. Also, next time you're calling up countless other customers besides Melton here. And you're getting that phone ring, that error message, that bids signal. That's your gate's livelihood so that those who conduct religious censorship and political and business censorship, uh, your phone's not allowed to work so that those like Gates or Walmart or whoever's a big name in your business can get to business in that subtle way, that boring way, that Chinese way. But it's still very real money out of your pocket and your hijacked lifeline you don't know when else or why else. Because you're a real Christian perhaps or because uh, you're in the wrong political party or you, you aren't that big name in your business. But Rhea explains that, uh, let me speed this up. Oh, it's already up to 11 minutes. Rhea explains that they call them Big Fives uh, and check in post info because it takes us five minutes to make the video with your phone. If someone else's life on not working, whatever boring thing you get that's not going to be boring, you need to fire them and police paramedics. Takes five minutes to make the video whatever you get when you don't get me. Melt. 424-229-4140. Takes five minutes to make the video and post the video with your phone. And it, yeah, if you're not uh, connected to the internet with your phone, you can upload and upload from a computer. That's my computer there. Uh, got a nice big screen TV as a monitor, helps to design imagery. Takes us five minutes. That's how, why, uh, how uh, Rhea explains to Tommy why it's called a check and post in five and why they call them big fives and all that. And then Tommy says, okay, they wouldn't tell me this at work. And they're always calling me that. He's the one. The one. Oh, it doesn't mean Tommy's the one and only. Yeah, Chinese. Uh, Gene pulls stuff and if you know my funny the street fix and our funny street fix and it's because Tommy looks like a one you know with the arms missing he looks like a one and that's why no one at work will tell him why he, he's one I'm melting some copper man it's a quick one I hope uh, quicker than it can be up to 20 minutes and over because I got a lot of stuff to do and I've combined two son of copper Mary sugar check and Tommy well, pick up your phones, especially those of you who got new phones for Christmas. Make those videos only you can make. You don't have to make a Tommy Purple, but uh, you know, if you want to, go ahead. Make a funny, corrupt California law enforcement. And yeah, when you're handing out those numbers on those files, make sure you got the uh, official numbers. They're non-emergency numbers so folks can call up and ask, what do you know about this? When else will my phone not be allowed to work because of what you're doing out there? Check in post in five. A via speaker phone that way. And yeah, I make those funny. Correct. I made up four of them last night. The Lonnie ones. Uh, I'll have a little fun and say, look on these fives. Uh, if you get a five, look in the back, see if it's got the California cops number on it and ask them why are they being thugs? Why are they being active participants in America's hijack lifelines with the one and only Melton? Stone Cold. Why, are, why can't I reach Melton? When else will my phone not be allowed to work? What's your part in that? They don't know anything about it. I don't know what a Flight 93 check is. Uh, you can direct them to Christ Complex links that have a lot, has a lot of my old YouTubes. And if they still, you know, they don't get it, they you know, ask them, are you involved? Are you incompetent? It seems odd. We know about this halfway across the country. All the way across the country. Ask them, oh, you know about this? Check and post in five and see if you can get me some peace and quiet here in the Immaculate Apartment where I'm Calmly and patiently waiting for you to walk through when you see someone other than me and my changing eyes In this imagery here, we start building Jesus as a Immaculate house call it whatever you want call an opportunity house if you want Opportunity for a whole lot of folks from all walks of life all areas of the world You can call an opportunity house if you want, but there will be a test at the end. I hate to tell you 
Come see the man of shadows with the light of truth. And let's get started building a better world. Have we will travel. Show me the perfect place to build. Best people to start building with. When you see someone other than me, my changing eyes in my imagery, my cool imagery, we start building. Come tear down the great wall of evil. Has just me in my imagery, and let's get started on those thousand points of light. Opportunity houses to inspire the future and the present to greatness. You gotta see me in person to do that. Tear down that great wall of evil. What's the new one? Tear down that great wall of evil and let's get started building a better world. <laughs>